How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another mask review. Today, taking a look at the iconic Thunderhawk vehicle. This is Matt Tracker's go-to vehicle in the first two seasons of Mask. Um, really great vehicle. Came out in 1985, produced by Kenner. Comes with Matt Tracker as the driver in his iconic gray jumpsuit also. Fantastic piece. And let's take a look at Matt Tracker really quickly here. Take off his Spectrum mask, but two inch line figure, articulation, six points of articulation. I'm not gonna go over it. Um, pretty standard um, shoulder, hip, knee, and neck. So nice detail for such a small figure too. You got some pockets sculpted in. You don't have any paint on the on the actual head except for the hair, but it is nice that the face is sculpted. So you can tell that there is, you know, does have a face, ears, and all that. His mask is the Spectrum mask, and this is the first release. So you have the um, it's the short mask, I guess you could say, which is the one that's more sought after. You can see that. The other release of the Spectrum mask was this one that came with the extra plastic on the front and on the back, and then also had the um, cut on the top for. Um, choking hazards and all that type of stuff but i mean really i don't know why you'd be putting your mask in your mouth plus i think this one would go down a little bit better than this one and all that but whatever i don't know it's just there you go all right bringing in the the vehicle thunderhawk now i apologize i am missing some of the stickers and i didn't want to wait around for my repro label um set to show up but it is nice that there is one so i can clean up some of these stickers and out of the three that i have this is the better <laughs> of them but very cool vehicle does roll very nicely i mean very smooth lots of great sculpted detail that i've always loved about the mass series um, rubber tires the goodyear actually on there i love the the realistic um, like authenticity that they put into the vehicles you got some nice chrome for the exhaust front end with the um, the headlights and such. You got the nice kind of chrome wheels. The back end, you got the nice clear tail lights, clear windshield front and back, and I even like the the tread on the tires. That's pretty cool. So, all right, to get it into its attack mode. Just push this little button up top, which will pop up in the wings, and the spoiler will pop up also, which will bring up the back bumper to showcase the uh, back thrusters. And then to complete it, you just pull out the silver bits to give it more of a wing for the doors. And there you have Thunderhawk in its jet mode. Very cool. Again, very iconic. Um, you see this majority of the time Matt Tracker's got Thunderhawk in Season 1 and Season 2, even though he is the driver of Rhino and some other vehicles, but still. I do like the fact that he does come with the seatbelt. It's a nice added touch, so when you have it in jet mode, you're not, you know, carpet bombing your driver and co-pilot. So that's cool. This is a piece, though, that sometimes can be missing or broke so keep that in mind you do have some nice detail within the car you see that sticker right there the um, wheel does turn and such does have two bombs underneath and to release them you just push on the back thruster and that releases one releases the other one and they look like that Another common piece missing from this set. So keep that in mind also. But all in all, a very, very nice piece. Oh, one last thing. The mat tracker that comes with the extra bits because of the choking hazard is a little bit more snug to put into Thunderhawk trying to get the seatbelt around. I just noticed that. Um, so this one... Obviously looks better, but also fits better also. The other one does fit. It's just a little bit tighter and plus 
being an adult now trying to get fingers and all that it's just it doesn't work for me <laughs> but there you go that's it for um thunderhawk with matt tracker very great vehicle a must-have in my opinion if you're a mask collector i mean this is the leader of mask and this is his vehicle definitely want to have this um so as far as price i'm, I'm not going to really dive into that I, no, I, he's not a cheap vehicle to find but the nice thing about the mass toys is you can part them and you know build it up if you need to and such if you can um, find like a lot and all that type of stuff you can if you want sometimes the wings are a little loosey goosey i guess you could say and you can tighten up that spring if you like that's not a big deal you, there's a screw right there you can pop the wings off it's a little more um labor intensive to do but it can you can do it um, but i would be careful of the button on the on the top um, that has a tendency because of the just the age of the plastic to breaking i have noticed that also so all right that's it for uh, thunderhawk from the mask series great piece Thanks for watching again. I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out Plastic Fanatics, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. And I will talk to everyone later. See you.